Welcome back to Broke Ass EDC, home of the working stiff everyday carry. Today I've got the uh, Kershaw leak with me. This one's a little bit different because it's got the, uh, it's the random leak. Got the little bit different style blade, Ken Onion design. The good old made in the U.S. knife with the three inches of 1.4C 28-inch steel that's known for being tough and holding a great edge right out of the box. With the assisted opening on these in the flipper tab and thumb studs, even my big hand can get on that thumb stud and really flick these things out. And they got a, that distinctive sound that's stainless steel. Real free, fidget friendly. And always been in, you know, in my pocket one time or another. I'm a little partial because early on on a construction site, I found an old Kershaw leak just laying on the ground one afternoon cleanup. Walking around, nobody claimed it. So in my pocket, it went. And up until that point, all I'd ever had was gas station specials or a hand-me-down Pepaw knife. And that thing had one of the best edges on it of any knife I've ever owned. And it just kind of drawed me to it. it. It always fit good in my hand and, and, and worked great. Now, with the stainless steel construction, it's not going to rust in your pocket on a hot day. And at four inches closed, it'll fit in most pockets. They're a little bit on the heavy side, but they will carry in a pair of old cargo shorts. And another thing about this one is, a little on the special side, it come as a gift for Father's Day for Mama and the boys. So this one will never see hard work. It'll definitely be a Sunday knife. Running around taking care of uh, making dad useful task. The only beef I've really got with this knife so far, kind of handling it, messing with it, the bead blast finish on this and it's stainless, it, it's got a pretty good grip to it. But if you do have wet hands, it does get a little slick. So you kind of got to watch out for that. It's not really something you want to put into heavy work if it was raining. I wouldn't want to make no long, deep, hard cuts. And then you come to the pocket clip on these. And it's something I always thought I, I wish they'd do a little bit different. Uh, a deep carry pocket clip would be nice. I always have to flip mine around so it's tip up. Just prefer that when I pull it out of the pocket. But a deep carry clip would be nice. Uh, looking around on the internet a little bit, there's some places starting to sell some titanium deep carries for, for these. And then some anodized colored screws that would throw a little bit of flare on the front of it which would be nice. And then there's always the lock on these. That'll hold the blade in, in your pocket. But uh, to be honest, I don't think I've ever used it. Never really saw a need for it. I've never had one just come open in my pocket. So over the years, the Kershaw Lake has definitely been a solid carry. And it's what brought me into other knives. I think it's one that everybody needs to own. And I don't think I'm alone in that. A lot of people push these knives. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll keep rolling. I've got quite a few other knives I've, I've set up and, and working through to, to try to do a review on and finding some that will meet the everyday guy needs. But uh, this one kind of stuck out. I've got some old beater Kershaw's, but with this one being 
Father's Day gift from the mama and the boys. Uh, wanted to go ahead and get it in here and, and get it looked at. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Later.